Hello, Mark Crossfield here in my hands. Today, JPX EZ Forged, or EZ, depending on which side of the pond you are, Forged Iron from Mizuno. Let's give the new Forged Iron uh, from Mizuno Golf in the JPX range a hit, see what all the different finish is about, um, and see if they're actually any different to the old one. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Mizuno JPX EZ EZ Grain Flow Forged Iron. This is the forged version of the JPX range. So you get um, cavity in the back. It's not as big as the original JPX or the JPX EZ, but it's still there bigger than their MP range. You get this gunmetal finish, slightly bigger head looking shape, nowhere near as classic in its design, but certainly still quite desirable when you put it down by the ball. Like I say, you get the gunmetal finish and it's a forged grain flow forged iron from uh, Mizuno. So this one's really the bridging gap between JPX range. So you want the JPX kind of power and distance and, and kind of um, stronger feel off the face. But you get the MP um, kind of forged grain flow forging, slightly thinner line. So it's the real kind of bridging gap between the two clubs, really, you'd say. Um, this would appeal to all handicappers, really. Anyone from a low handicapper up to beginners, almost. It's for people who want that softer feel off the face from the forged head. Put it down by the ball. It's certainly a more slender top line than the JPX, but nowhere near as kind of slender as you get in the MP range. Let's give it a hit, see what it feels like. This has got to be the biggest difference from last year's range to this year's. This has totally changed its direction and its looks from the colorway even to the head shape slightly. So let's give it a go. Yeah, it feels nice. That's a higher ball flight than I was expecting, actually. No problem getting that ball up in the air. And I caught that slightly near the bottom. Let's give it another hit. Do like the darker finish. And I do think anyone looking for a forged iron but still wants a little bit of JPX loving in their irons, this one's definitely going to be an option for them. And that feels super solid off the face. Very, very nice flight. That one's slightly lower out there. I did really nut that one. That felt good. Let's give it one more hit. You know, it feels, like I say, like an iron that's really going to bridge that gap in handicaps. I can see pros going for this and I could see higher handicappers who want to buy into that Mizuno brand going for this. It's got semi-classic looks. I'm not sure if the JP, anyone who's got JPX Pro out there, any of the 800 or the 825 is going to be that keen on this change. I think they might even feel like they need to keep theirs. But I do feel like anyone coming into the Mizuno range from another brand, this one might just hit their kind of handicap range and kind of their performance range a little bit more because it does, like I say, offer that forged feeling off the face. It certainly doesn't feel as soft as MP range, even though they do use, I think, in this one, the harmonic stuff as well, like they do the other sets um, in their range, trying to make them sound better to give you that feeling that they're feeling better because the Mizuno are really relating sound through into performance. Let's give this one more hit. Yeah, it feels nice. That's JPX Easy Forge. Let me know what you think, guys. I'm not sure on this one. I, there's a part of me that feels like I prefer the older one, but let me know what you think. I do like the gunmetal finish. I like the performance. We will get some real numbers for you with real balls coming throughout the year when we're comparing it up with GC2. So there will be some real numbers coming. Um, but on performance and first instincts, I like it. Not sure if it's better than the old one, um, but I'm sure Mizuno know which direction they're going in, when, in this brand, in the JPX, what they want to do. Certainly, I think the strongest ones for them will be 54 over maybe this. But you let me know, guys. Post comments down below. What do you think? Is this a club that you would change to? Have you got the JPX Pros already and thinking of looking at the new one with this new gunmetal, slightly less classic design appeal to you or not? Post comments down below as always. I mean, hitting balls like that, I could quite easily use that, no problem. Maybe even hybriding this one up between these in the short irons and maybe the four iron in the JPX EZ. So you get that combination in the long to the short irons for power. Let me know, post comments down below and we'll speak to you soon. 
So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.